out this morning. Kids had to lose show on. Brian Gummy was talking about the Lebanon. Some senator was walking about news today and how we learn to pray. We need a change of policy. Ooh. Put that over there. There's a local paper rolled up in a rubber band. One more sad story, one more than I can stand. Just once I like to see the headline say, Me too, not much to print today. Can't find nothing bad to say because. Nobody robbed a liquor store on the lower part of town. Mm. Nobody od nobody burned a single building down. Nobody fired a shot in vain. Nobody had to die in vain. We sure could use a little good news today. What y'all think about that? And Murray, I want to thank you for uh, doing that song. A lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of us. I ain't gonna say us. A lot of uh, young people don't know what to hear uh, sound like to hear lyrics like that, and that's why they're so damn crazy, because we've been misled. The musicians on the planet, like Lucifer, have been used to lead the people astray with the music, and um. When you hear such profound lyrics like Anne Murray, and we could use a little good news. Do you know hearing all this bad stuff is stressful? It is so stressful. I mean, and to hear a little good news, <laughs> I could just he, see the newspaper saying, and he got nothing to report because uh, we don't got no garbage to feed y'all. Now, what will the American people do? Because nobody's feeding you as if you were just a human pig that craves for diabolical information and filth and degrades. That's all you want. What will happen <laughs> if nobody robbed a liquor store on the lower part of town? Mm. Nobody had to die in vain. In the good old USA, we sure could use a little good news today. How many of y'all believe that? That's the question. How many of y'all believe that? I'm sick of the anti-blackness, sick of the anti-whiteness. Uh, America has really set this place up uh, for just a mental uh, diabolical cesspool okay so when you hear a song like uh, we could use a little good news today it's really true we really could but with that being said let's 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 talk about something family uh now the first thing I want to talk about is how many of y'all are aware that the Chinese are giving Africans uh, water from the toilet. They're selling them water from the toilet, people. And when we think about the Chinese and their, they're doing the same thing over here in their salons. Okay, so when people start saying Asian hate, um, it really bothers me that it doesn't include us, okay? Because these people are actually giving people toilet water, Africans now, for them to drink. And the people are out there so angry, wanting to fight, and all the uh, cops they got representing them, as usual, 
the moles are are black. Uh, and this is again what um Willie Lynch was talking about when he stated that we will be perpetually miserable. We don't even know how to stand together. We don't even know how to stop this onslaught of um black people. So when I saw that, uh, I, I couldn't believe what I was like. You mean tell me these people are so hateful and they hate black people so much that they're going to give them water from out the toilet and they even got an apparatus. They got tubes stuck down in the toilet and a pump that is pumping the water, the shit and piss out, going through like a screen and putting in the bowl, and them people out there mad as hell. They want to fight, and they have these people who have taken over their country, just like what we got over here. So who is the puppet master, I always want to ask, because he is responsible for all the mayhem on the planet. <coughs> who is he? If we get honest... <coughs> We're going to have to get honest, excuse me, about who's creating the madness. Greed, um, you know, the, 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 the zest to be number one, the good old time foolery, all of this is causing uh, just relentless havoc on the ecosystem. All this hate is throwing the earth off its axis. It really is. And I know a lot of y'all don't want to believe that. Y'all, get the heck up. It is. You, you, you're changing the dynamics of the earth with your hatred, with your misogyny, with your dislike and constantly hating on everybody, never have whether it's your business or not. Because to me, the most craziest thing in the world is for adults to be in other adults' sex life. Now, unless that person is a pedophile molesting boys or girls, um, being gay or heterosexual. Unless you have a situation that you're encountering that that's happening, you have no right and no business to be in nobody else's life. You have no business. So that's an aspect of the hatred and the interjection of other people in your life, your freedom. You know, and it, to me, that's one of the biggest travesties it is. It's a man's inhumanity to deal with itself. It's really sad. And I just want to know what y'all think about it. Because that's, um, <laughs> we sure could use a little good news is what I'm saying. Um, so, I'm going to go. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video.